Hi friends, welcome to Upper Studies YouTube channel. This is part 35 in Python playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about functions in Python. We are also going to discuss about like what is function, what is arguments in the functions, what are arbitrary arguments, what are arbitrary keyword arguments, and how to return values from the functions. So functions is actually one of the main concept in the programming, in any programming for that matter. So even in the Python, functions is like very commonly used uh, programming uh, concept. So if you want to become a good programmer, you should have a basic understanding of what is function and how it work and all. So please pay attention to this video. A function is nothing but like a, it's a block of code which you only run whenever you call it. In other words, in a simple words, what if I want? For example, if you have a two lines of code which is going to be repeated in your code, what you can do? You can create a function out of it and whenever you feel need of executing that three lines of code, you can call that function there. So it's like a block of code which will be saved as a name and called as a function and whenever you call this function at that time only that code will run. When I practically show you at that time you will make a sense of it. So let me go to Visual Studio Code here. So I have already opened Visual Studio Code. So uh, let me go, let me get this Visual Studio Code here. So in this Visual Studio Code, so let's assume uh, I have this print statement called Hello World. So let's assume this is, uh, let me save these changes and then let me run this code to make sure this code is working fine or not. So if I executed it is printing. So what I can do, let's assume this statement I want to write it. In this case, it is only one line. In practical scenarios where you may have 10 lines of code or 20 lines of code. So all that lines of code uh, you want to execute it multiple times. Then instead of writing that code every time, what you can do, you can create a function on it. So how you can create a function? To create a function, you need to use this diff keyword. Then give a name. So I am giving a name like my function and then open bracket, close bracket, then parenthesis. Then make sure you use this indentation here. That means four spaces at least so that that line of code will be considered as part of that function. And here maybe I will use my print statement and here I will say hello world. Okay. So now let me save these changes. If you see this code, I only created one function which has only one line here. Okay. And this line is part of my function. Why? Because by seeing this indentation, you can clearly say that. So now I am not calling this function anywhere. We simply created a function. That's it. Now let's try to run this code and see what will happen. So py space demo.py file. See nothing printed. Why? Because function is created by having this line of code inside of it. But nowhere we are calling that function. The moment we call that function, that's when this line of code will execute. Let me practically show you that. So after function, what I am doing, I am trying to call this my function and open bracket close bracket let me save these changes now let me run this code and see what will happen so if you see now it printed hello my hello world why because what happened the execution come from here to here it created a function then it came to here so this is the line where i am calling that function to execute then immediately when this line uh, came execution will go and execute this particular uh, function code and that will print the data here accordingly so what if if i call the function uh, above my function definition so for example let's assume i have a code like this so i am trying to call a function before even created that function in this case will this work as you might be expecting it will not work so let me save these changes here let me execute this code here see it says i don't know what is this function this function is not defined at all so always make sure you create your function first and then call that function if you want to execute that particular line of code okay so let's go back to our presentation and also to the functions we can pass the data we can call them as a parameters or arguments and also we can return the data also back from the function how i am going to show you that practically in couple of minutes so basically what i am trying to see if you see this function what we created just now here we are not passing any data to the function we are not returning any data from the function we are only printing something or we are doing something so we are not actually returning something back from the function but in in real time scenarios what you can do you can even pass data into your function 
and then do some logic execution inside of it and then return some output data also back from the function that is also possible i will be showing that in a bit don't worry okay so let's go to the another slide so whenever it comes to passing data to a function or passing information to a function we will actually call it them as arguments or sometimes we will call it them like parameters parameters or arguments both are actually same thing let me show you this with a practical example first and then i will explain you so let's assume this is my function and my function expects a parameter called f name so when you see this variable from the function point of view that is called parameter and let's assume here i am printing like uh, maybe your first name is then whatever the value we pass into that function name parameter f name parameter let's save this so let's assume this is my function my function has one parameter and that parameter we are internally printing inside the function code so here when i call this function since this function has a parameter to be supplied so we should make sure to pass a value to it so let's assume here i pass shake so now if you see here from the execution point of view this i will call it like argument which i am passing into this parameter so argument parameter both are same so when you see from the function point of view we will call it like a parameter when we see from the execution point of view where we are calling that function at that time we will call it like a argument okay so if you have here 10 parameters then all 10 parameters should should get passed values from here that means you should pass all 10 arguments to the all 10 parameters so always make sure you pass your arguments equals to the same same count of arguments whatever you have the parameters inside the function so now let me execute this code and let's see it will run or not whether this argument value go and sit into this variable and then it will get printed here or not so let me save these changes and let me clear here the debug console and let me re-execute this see it printed your first name is shake and there is no space so if i give space here and if i save the changes and then if i run here see it will print properly so this is so in this way actually i am trying to pass some data into my function using parameters okay so using parameters or arguments you can pass data into your functions not only that you can pass them like a key, key keyword parameters or keyword arguments what i mean is instead of passing this argument directly like this you can also pass them like this so like this f name f name keyword equals to you can pass the argument so this is called keyword arguments so in this fashion also you can do that if i save the changes if i re-execute this it will still work right and uh, the advantage of it is let uh, let's assume i have two parameters here like this f name and uh, yes name okay second name maybe then here i am printing your first name is f name and then uh, here you are let me use another print statement here your second name is uh, yes name okay so let me save this here now uh, what i can do is if you see here there are two parameters inside the functions so what you can do you can pass like this like uh, shake is one argument maybe then mahir is another argument i can pass like this so what will happen shake will go and sit into this f name this first name parameter or variable and mahir will go and sit into this parameter or variable so let me make sure this runs fine here so let me execute this code here if you see it is printing correctly but if you use name keyword arguments what will happen it will take that argument into that keyword only so for example uh, let's assume uh, i want to pass so here right what i can do i can use so order is not important i anyways you can pass so i see here i am using keyword s yes name directly so keyword argument so i am passing argument mahir here into that keyword s yes name and then for first name keyword i am passing argument called shake still it will work see let me save the changes and then if i re-execute it see it printed your first name is shake your last name is mahir so this is this is where in this way also you can do that so let's go to presentation so that is what i have explained here a function must be called with the correct number of arguments as i said always you need to make sure this arguments count matches with the parameters in the function if not your function execution will fail and then you can also send the arguments with the key value that means keyword arguments like how we are doing here you can also pass data like this so the same thing i have explained here in this function we have three parameters and we are passing them like a keyword arguments and we if we call a function without arguments then it is going to use a default value what i mean by this is for example here for this uh, keywords 
or parameters let's say i have a default values like this inside the function definition itself so first name equals to shake and then uh, second name or s name equals to mahir if i have like this default values already in that case if i don't pass any values or any arguments still the function is going to work and it will take the default values and it will process the logic so let me save these changes and let me execute this code you will make a sense of it see still it printed your first name is shake your last name is mahir i haven't i haven't passed these values but still how it is printing because those are all the default values for the parameters so that is also possible so let's go to another slide so there is something called arbitrary arguments okay and also arguments in the fun python programming documentation always will be referred like this ergs so don't confuse this is like a short notation of the arguments so what is this arbitrary arguments arbitrary arguments means let's assume if you don't know how many arguments that will be passed into your function then you can add this uh, star symbol before the parameter and in that case what will happen right all the data whatever you pass into the function as a arguments will become like a tuple let me practically show you this so let me go let's go back to our slide uh, our uh, our python file here so let's try to create a new function called uh, maybe same thing my, my function and here let's assume i don't know how many parameters i am going to pass how many arguments i going to pass uh, i am not sure how many to keep so in that case what i can do i can use star uh, then maybe like i am using like a b c d so this is my argument name or parameter name and if you define like this right what will happen let me try to print this a b c d here directly without doing anything so if you define like this right whenever you are calling this function you can actually pass n number of parameters there is no limit why because it is arbitrary argument star is there and whatever the data you pass from this function call all data will come as a tuple there so let me practically explain you that so let's assume here i am passing like apple and then i am passing another value maybe like a banana and then here i am passing another value like maybe uh, like uh, orange so i am passing three values let's assume okay and all the all these three values are like strings right so this is one string this is another string this is another string but now what will happen right the moment uh, this execution will goes to the function all this data will be treated as a tuple and uh, uh, it will print the tuple itself here because i am simply printing that so let me practically show you that so i am saving these changes and if i execute this code see i got a tuple back see tuple means open bracket and close bracket right you know that right if you don't know what is tuple please watch all my previous videos in the python playlist one by one then only you can make sense of it see everything came as a tuple so for example in this tuple if you want to access this banana then you can use the index syntax uh, a tuple of 1 will give banana tuple of 0 will give apple uh, this is like zeroth position one position two position right so let me practically make you sense of uh, so if i try to print tuple of 1 then it is going to print banana let me save these changes here and then let me rerun this code see i got banana so basically if you use this arbitrary arguments where you were not sure how how much of data or how many number of arguments we are going to pass then use this arbitrary arguments and pass your data so data will come as a tuple into the function and after that whatever you want to do you can do it inside it so here i am trying to access the first position value from the tuple okay so let's go back to presentation so that is what i have explained here also in this slide uh, and there is something called arbitrary keyword arguments so in that in the case of keyword arguments we should use star star double symbol and this is also same thing if you don't know like how many keyword arguments we are going to pass into the function in that case use this arbitrary keyword arguments so when i practically show you this you will make sense of it so what is keyword argument as i said if your function has any parameters if you are if you want to supply arguments to those parameters with the keywords then you can do like this right in our we just know couple of minutes before we have discussed if you don't know how many values like this will be passed into the function in that case you can use this double asterisk symbol to to collect all the data as a dictionary basically let me let me practically show you that to make sense of it so same thing here let's assume i have i am using double uh, star here and uh, that means i am going to pass keyword arguments from my function call and i don't know how many keyword arguments i pass and i don't know what is the keys and values i am pass so in that case this will work so let's assume i will pass a keyword argument like uh, first name equals to uh, first name keyword and value to it is shake and then maybe uh, another keyword maybe i will use s name and here I, for this keyword i will be using value like uh, shake and then another keyword maybe like age so for that i may be using a value like 29 or 30 right 
so i am using like this so what will happen these keywords are not defined here and we don't know how many these keyword arguments will be passed so in that case i use this double asterisk symbol here to catch all this data as a dictionary so when i print simply only a b c d here you will make sense of it let me save these changes let me clear this debug terminal here and let me re-execute this python code if you closely observe this a b c d variable actually printed this data and if you see this data it has a open flower bracket and close flower bracket and it has key then value key then value key then value if you have data in this form in python then that is called a dictionary so if you don't know what is dictionary in python please watch all my previous videos in this python playlist to make sense of it right so that's what so if you don't know how many keyword arguments you are going to supply to your function when you are making call to it then try to use this arbitrary keyword arguments so that you will uh, a function will collect all the data as a dictionary and uh, inside that uh, function code whatever you want to do with the dictionary you can do it up to you okay here i am simply printing that so that's it so there is something called like i said function will also return data back right how to do that to return that data you can use this return keyword uh, here so here if you see this function it is taking a variable here x and whatever the value supplied to that variable it is getting multiplied with 5 and that is what getting written here so let me practically uh, do the same thing here so what uh, so my function is going to let's assume take a variable called x and then inside what i want to do i want to return a value return data from my function by multiplying that x variable value whatever we user is passing now what i will do let me try to uh, call my function by using function name and maybe supply value as 10 let's save these changes and let's try to run this code see nothing printed what happened the function executed and it it supplied this value uh, this argument 10 into this parameter and it, it returned a data also but whatever the data it returned here i am not printing it or i am not storing it into any variable so that's why we are not able to see anything here so what i will do here maybe here i will try to use a key, uh, variable called maybe like uh, uh, a b c d is one variable inside that variable whatever the output data coming from this function that i am saving it here and then in the next line i am trying to print that abcd so let me save these changes here and now let me try to run this code see it is printing 50 why why because this function call supplied this value 10 into this function and function will calculated 5 into 10 equals to 50 and that return the data got returned back because we are using return keyword and whatever the data returned from this function call came and saved into this uh, variable and then i am simply printing that variable so in this fashion you can return data also back from the function okay so let's go to presentation now uh, so yeah i think that's it in this video thank you for watching this video i hope you understood functions in python now if not please try to watch these videos multiple times because this is very very useful concept one should know about these functions in the programming then only they can easily do all rest other programming thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever i add videos thank you so much